The iris caddis is probably the most effective emerging caddis pattern known to man. And I am reminded of that daily during caddis time by friends and customers who fish it. And John Jurasek really perfected this pattern over time. It's easy to tie. It floats like a cork. You can see it, particularly at dark when caddis emergences are so prevalent. Once again, that shuck, that Zelon shuck, trailing Zelon shuck, so important to these flies. We're going to tie a Hydropsyche um, iris caddis. When they emerge, their bodies are brilliant orange and they turn immediately to a dirty brown color within a second or two. But to highlight the color of this, we're going to tie the bright orange one tonight. And this really is an amber colored dubbing. And notice the Zelon in this dubbing. A lot of sparkle in the dubbing. Once again, a very fat, robust body of amber Zelon. Now to, to tie this fly, if you're fishing this fly and you're tying it for after dark, and you're tying, this is a size 15, 102 Y TMC hook. One of our favorite hooks, it's as sharp as can be. Um, and sometimes I'll put a double wing on, most of the time just a single loop wing. Let's tie a double one. Right now we're gonna double the strand of Zelon. And here's a little secret. Kind of breathe on your fingers. Put your two fingers right at the edge of your mouth. Breathe on them. And next, just take that and splay that wing. Just the little bit of moisture left on your fingers is going to give that wing the perfect look. Harry Mayo, God rest his soul, taught us that kink years ago. With that Wing now, we're going to double that and we're going to put it right at the tie in point of the shuck where the shuck and the body meet. Hold that down with your thumb and make several good wraps. And notice how that wing lays flat on the body and it actually loops the body and it floats like a cork. Now, don't be too quick to trim this. Standard Zelon, standard iris caddis, we're going to trim this now, put some dubbing and call it good. But if you're tying these for yourself and you want to fish them late at night, well after dark, dub right now, resist cutting this. I'm going to add this as a tremendous fly for imitating the October caddis steelhead wise in a size six. For rivers like the Bulkley and the Skeena, Kispiox and the Dean, dub some forward and some behind. Now whip finish. Notice how quick we tied that fly. Gary LaFontaine, when he, he and I were working on the book, Fly Fishing the Madison, which we did together shortly before he passed away, admitted to me, he said, that's the most goddamn effective caddis emerger pattern there is. Now all strands pick up on them and trim and leave this. This is what I call a waking post. And it's very valuable, it accepts more floating and you can actually wake it. And that's really important when fishing after dark because you'll see these emerging caddis skittering, trying to escape their shuck. And you can do the same thing in the moonlight and you will just kill the fish. And also for steelhead, you can put a little uh, head cement on it and wake it. Very effective pattern, the iris caddis.